Today, I'm going to be going over a Trevor Henderson creature called the Nervous House Guest. Now, if you've never heard of these Trevor Henderson creatures, well, I'll quickly explain them right now. So Trevor is this guy, and he's got to be insane because he has created a catalog of creatures, cryptids, and storylines about some very, very weird things. But I find these really weird things pretty enjoyable and interesting to read, and I think you will too. So sit back and relax, and let's get into it, shall we? So this video, I want to talk about the Nervous House Guest, which is this monstrosity of a creature. The original picture of this entity is captioned with, quote, he always had the worst paranoia whenever they were forced to park at a rest stop, end quote. And the person with the paranoia was the person taking the picture. So it's saying that the person taking the picture was always paranoid at rest stops. Not much is actually known about the creature itself, but what is known is that it likes to stalk people with the sole purpose of making that person extremely uncomfortable, nervous, and anxiety-filled. The house guest doesn't actually go up and attack people physically, instead it likes to mentally distress its victims by staring at them. Not very fun. Physical description. The physical appearance of the entity looks like a semi-humanoid figure that's massive. I mean, it's huge. In the original photo, it's behind a small house looking directly at the camera holder, but you can't really tell if it's on the ground or if it's on the roof. Its skin is a light gray and black color, and its body is plump and wrinkly, but tight around the chest area. Its arms are actually pretty short and are connected to its body midway down, instead of the usual shoulder position where arms normally are. Its hands are by far the most normal part of it, and they each have five fingers, with the middle finger being the longest. Obviously, the creepiest and most unsettling part of the house guest is its head. It's huge with gray, wrinkly skin and big, black, cartoonish pupils inside of massive white eyeballs. And these eyes can look in different directions at the same time and are kind of like googly eyes in a way. But that just makes them even more creepy to me, to be honest. It literally looks like they're staring into your soul. Now, it's thought that the house guest in this picture is around 45 feet tall, or 13.7 meters tall, which, for reference, is only 5 feet shorter than a Brachiosaurus. So, yeah, that's huge. But it could be bigger since we really can't see the entire body. We can only assume how big it is. Behavior and Origins now, there isn't much known about where this creature came from, obviously, but some of its behaviors are pretty simple. For example, the caption of the original picture says that this unknown person seems to always be paranoid that something is watching them when they're at rest stops, and rest stops are those areas along highways where you can stop and use the bathroom and stretch your legs, if you didn't know what that is. Now, this feeling that the photographer gets of paranoia and distress comes from the nervous house guest itself. It seems like it's always watching and following the picture taker around wherever rest stop they go to. And the caption of the picture makes it seem like this nervous house guest appears at every rest stop that they go to. Not just the one in the picture, every single time. This means that this entity has the ability to follow and stalk people. But of course, you know, you might ask the question, well, how does it travel from place to place? Well, maybe it's invisible to the naked eye, or maybe it can teleport. Or maybe both. Who knows? It's thought that this thing cannot be seen at all and can only be seen through pictures. So that's pretty scary. Some people think that the face of the creature being so human-like is the cause for the paranoia because of the uncanny valley phenomena, which is where a face looks very similar to real human face, but it's not. Kind of like those hyper-realistic robots. But overall, I think it's easy to see why this face is terrifying, because it just is. The Nervous House Guest is a giant creature that stalks people at rest stops and is invisible to their naked eye, but can be seen in pictures. Its entire purpose of existing is to make people feel paranoid and go into panic attacks. And it likes doing that because it's silly and goofy. But yeah, that was the Nervous House Guest explained. I hope you enjoyed it. I've really been liking reading into these creatures, and I hope you all do too. I would love to keep doing them. I got more in the works, as always. Let me know if you want me to keep doing the Trevor Henderson stuff. 
it's enjoyable. I think you're gonna like it. Thank you all so much for 10k over here. Like, that's insane. Only two other videos are up, and you already got the channel to 10k. Thank you so much for that. I cannot wait to continue to make more videos and grow with you all over here. Also, be sure to comment down below which Trevor Henderson creatures you want me to go over. If you want me to go over a specific set of them, a specific type of them, make sure you let me know. I am gonna be compiling most of these into huge compilations a couple times a month. That way, you guys can get a big, long explanation of creatures. There's over 100 of these things and they're all extremely just crazy to me and i really like it because i'm into cryptids and that kind of stuff and this is just right up my alley so hopefully you do enjoy the video and hopefully you'd like to see more and as for the upload schedule on this channel i'm gonna be aiming for two videos a week over here three videos on Brugly, and one to two on Tugly. so that's what i'm trying to balance right now hopefully that schedule works out it might not work exactly Brugly will be three videos a week as always that's the main channel and uh, this video is my next priority and Tugly is just going to get the game stuff that I'm going to be doing. So hopefully you all are liking the content across the channels. I'm trying to expand and grow. And I'm hoping you're going to stick with me throughout the entire ride. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And I will see you in the next spooky video.